I'm Andrew Barnes, an applied mathematician at the GE Global Research Center. I'm here to talk to you today about Pi Day and talk to you a little bit about Pi, which is a universal and ubiquitous mathematical constant. And it's so ubiquitous and so basic to our functioning as my functioning as a mathematician and the functioning of many engineers here at the research center that you could almost just take a dart and throw it around anywhere at the research center and you'd come up with some application or some deep connection with pi. Hey guys, sorry to barge in just like that. Uh, me, Jin, this is uh, the spy cam. So I see that you're discussing something interesting on the board. What's, what are you guys talking about? Uh, we were just talking uh, about a problem where uh, our colleagues in GE Capital wants our help with. So it's, uh, it's about the use of two types of uh, correlation, the, the Kendall Tau and the Pearson Row, and which is more appropriate for the customer's problem. Oh, really? So uh, let's see, among all these equations here, there has to be something involving pi. Is there? Let's see. Ex exactly. Yeah. You see here in this line equation here, we have the relationship between the Pearson correlation, the Kendall Tau uh, correlation under the normal distribution assumption. You see the pi exactly sitting here. And uh, by the way, this is the normal distribution density function above. Here, you can see the square root of 2 pi as the coefficient. So. As you mentioned, Andrew, actually pi is just like uh, food and water uh, for people, but the pi is essential for um, scientists, statisticians, mathematicians actually uh, using pi every day. Mm -hmm.